Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at fonts and how to change those in Linux and also in Windows. Now in Windows there is a bit of a problem around there regarding permissions but this tutorial will show you how to get around those. I have to apologize in advance because the sound quality on the Windows side one is not up to the usual standard for the videos. It's very echoey. But we're going to be using Windows to explore how you would change fonts for a shape string and also do the same with Linux and also have included places where I actually get these fonts from. So I get these fonts from certain sites and I've included those at the end of the video. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Again, apologies for the sound quality on the Windows side of things. And let's have a look at fonts and FreeCAD. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. So in Windows 10, we're going to have some problems with actually accessing the fonts directory because we may be tied down via permissions. I'm going to start a new document in here and I'm going to come over to the draft workbench. And in here we get the grid and I've got the shape string tool here. Or we can come up to the drafting and come up to shape from text. On the left hand side, you can see we've got the shape string and we've got the font file that we need to use. If I click the three dots here, then it goes off to the fonts. It tries to use its generic font loader and we can't see anything. The fonts on Windows is under the C drive, Windows, and we come down to fonts. If I double click that, we see we get, you don't have permissions to open this file. And I'm just gonna hit okay. So we can't get to the font file. There's a number of ways around this, depending if you want to use the generic window for fonts, or if you just want to use basically a simple generic window that's used in the file explorer. Because of the permission issues, what you can do is you can go away and get the permissions sorted from your administrator or do it yourself, depending on where your laptop is from. This laptop is from work, from my work, so I've been tied down to the permissions on my system. So I can't do that. But what I can do if I'm going to use the generic font viewer is I can cancel out of here and I can still access those fonts. So let's come to my desktop, open up the file explorer and what I can do is come down to this PC, look at the C drive, come down to Windows and what we're doing is looking for fonts. And I can copy all these, so I click on one, Control A to select all, Control C. So I've copied those fonts. And I'm going to copy them to a directory that I've got access to. So this is one way of doing it. And I've gone to the Windows. For instance, I know I've got access to my downloads directory, full access to that, or the documents. I can come in here. Now it's important to actually right click and create a new folder in here. So we have full permissions to this folder. I'm going to call this fonts. And I can come in here. I'm going to click and just control V all those fonts in there. So I'm copying the fonts to there. So all my fonts are in place. I can then come back to FreeCAD and go to the font file I can click on that. Come to the documents, go into fonts, and we get our fonts with the select file to preview on the right hand side. So we've got the full options here to allow you to select the fonts and preview them in here. So I can hit open and hit OK, and we get the font added. So that's one way of doing it. So you're copying those files into a location that FreeCAD is allowed access to, or go and change the permissions on that directory if you can. The other way to do it is that we have options in here to not use the default dialogs. So go up to Tools, Edit Parameters, and then we've got Base App. 
if we looked in here and expand out the preferences section, come down to the dialog, then we've got these dialogs in here. And these give us the option to use those native dialog boxes that Windows uses in the background. So we can turn those on and off. If we change these, you can see here, don't use native dialogs. Double click on those and change these to true. And this one to true. Hit OK and save to disk. And close that. When we come out and go back into FreeCAD so those changes take effect. And we'll just create a new document and jump back into the draft workbench. When we add our shape string to here, where it says from file, click the three dots. You can see now it's gone to C Windows fonts. So we can see those there, but we don't have a selector over on the right hand side where we can actually see what the fonts look like. So this is using a standard dialog box rather than the fonts dialog box. But from here, we need to basically come in and select our font and hit OK. And we get no preemption of what that font's going to actually look like. So there's a couple of ways of actually getting that to work in Windows. What we'll do now is go over to Linux, or in my case, Ubuntu, and have a look at that and how to find those fonts in there. As you can tell from the sound quality, I'm now stopped crawling through the air conditioning system and I've come out at home in Ubuntu and we can start looking at fonts in this one. So again, I'm going to use the shape string and we're looking at the font file. So click the buttons on the end and here we need our base directory slash come down and we're looking for USR and then share. And if you come down, we'll find the fonts directory. So here fonts and we have true type. So these are all the true type fonts here. We've got Deja Vu, a number of them in there, and they've all got different directories, and we can choose a true type font from there. So click on Deja Vu, and let's double click the bold one, and hit OK, and we have our font on there. In FreeCAD, we have a number of fonts that are supported. We have the true type, .ttf, the type one, which is .pfb, and the open type .otf. These can be readily found on the internet and can be downloaded for free. You don't need to pay for them. There are a number of fonts out there that you can pay for premium fonts, but I find most of the fonts I want to use are generally free. For instance, one of the ones that I use is dafont.com and we have a number of different fonts in here. We can select them from different categories and we can just come down and click on one and look how the fonts are going to look. And we just click on the download and off we go. And the font is downloaded. We just open it. And from here, we can actually drag these into our fonts directory and use them. Another one that I use is fontspace.com, which has a large number of free fonts in here. And again, it's easy enough just to download and we don't have to have an account and we can just download the zip file and again use them from there. Finding fonts can be just as simple as typing free true type fonts in your search bar and you'll find a wealth of fonts to download there. So it's pretty easy to find those fonts out there on the internet. If you're finding fonts that are charging a price, then check the other sites to see if they're free. I've come across free fonts that are actually being charged 40, 50 pounds on other sites where they're actually copies of those fonts and they're given away freely. So just watch out for that if you want to pay for a font. So I hope that's answered a few questions around fonts. So for now, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel.
Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.